Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 54 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it's time to continue on with Stage 4 South South's Musu Mode, so let's get to it. Yes. All right. Go. One shall. You'll change your tune soon enough. All right. Here we are. The Battle of Guandu. Let's do this. Okay. We haven't had this stage many times, but it's not a very difficult stage in any way. Um. Keep the weapons and items the same. Bodyguards will also stay the same. The conditions. We have to defeat Yuan Shao to win, and if I die and run out of time, we lose. We have 90 minutes on this big map. The unit info. For Cao Cao's forces, you have Cao Cao, which, which is me, with Shu Zhu, Jia Xu, Cao Ren, and Cao Hong. Xia Ho Dun with Yu Jin and Yue Jin. Xia Ho Yuan with Liu Yan and Li Dian. Xu Huan. Xu Wang with Wei Xu and Shi Huan, Zhang Liao with Shun Yu, Zhang Yu and Song Xian, and Guan Yu. For Yuan Shao's forces, you have Yan Yuan Shao with Zhang He, Yuan Tan, Zhu Shou, and Sheng Yu Qiang, Yan Liang, Wen Shao with Gao Lan, Yuan Shi, Yuan Shang, Liu Wei Kuang, Shun Chen, Han Mang, and Liu Bei with Zhang Fei. All right, the intro. Following Zhang Zhu's attack at Wan Castle, thanks to the sacrifice of his bodyguards, Cao Cao manages to escape, narrowly escaping death. After safely returning home, Cao Cao slowly builds up his power, watching and waiting to make his move. Various battles erupt around the land as leaders struggle for power, plunging the country into a state of war. With a large garrison stationed at Hebei, one man stood out during this period of unrest, the distinguished Wan Shao. It was Cao Cao of Hainan who stood up to this new threat. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Cao Cao held his ground against the much larger forces of Wan Shao. Then, in the year 200, the two leaders meet in the fields of Guangdu in a battle to determine the supremacy of central China. Okay, the text actually forgot the word held between Cao Cao his ground. Yeah, I I just noticed that, even though the verbal narration did say it. But anyway, let's do it. Don't let them get inside the castle. All other units, destroy the enemy and find their supply depot. Alright, before we move on, I am just going to go grab the uh, Musu line. I remember it was right by a building, or maybe this is it right here. Ah, there we go. It was in this spot. I remember it took me a while to find it last time, and I felt really dumb in the end. It was pretty much staring me in the face, and I did not realize. Alright, so first thing we need to do, obviously, we go find the supply depot. Or at least fight around here, and try to make it easier on our base. Doesn't look like there's any officers in the immediate area, but it looks like Yan Leon can be close. Oh, and he's closer than I thought. Right over here. So here's Yan Liang, we'll defeat him first, and then we'll take it from there. Hmm. Another enemy. Okay, so remember Wu Chao, which is Yuan Shao's supply depot, could be in a random spot. It's up to you to go into the supply depot and find it. Or you can actually pinpoint it from the outside if you see any soldiers inside. If there's none inside, then this is not the right supply depot. 
and they will just lay an ambush for you as soon as you get inside. So there we go, Yan Liang is down. Now if you haven't unlocked Yuan Shao, you can do this here by defeating Yan Liang and Wen Shou. Don't lag behind. But you have to do that yourself, of course. Alright, let's see who's over here. Han Mong, we'll defeat him next. And we'll see if this is Wu Chao. I'm pretty much just going to be hit or miss on that fifth charge. Hopefully I can get my third weapon soon. Because the sixth charge for Sal so I believe is pretty good. We're falling behind. Go! Alright, this should open right now. Let's take a look inside. Ah, uh, there's enemies in there. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to look for granaries. I forgot about that. Are there any officer in the area? Oh, this is probably Yuan Shang over here. So, we'll just leave and defeat him next. Now without clearing out some of these. I mean, don't be surprised if you see a lot of soldiers to fight. It is historically accurate in that sense. Yuan Shao heavily outnumbered Cao Cao. Like, I think Yuan Shao had almost a million troops, and Cao Cao had nowhere near that much. So, it was seen as a monumental victory to be able to defeat a true army of that size. That's Guan Yu. My brother? I know Guan Yu. He must surely have a good reason. We are going to pull back. Alright, so Liu Bei will retreat. And Guan Yu, I believe, will also retreat, or he'll just stay. Looks like he's staying in this case. Because usually Guan Yu will also leave. You are better than I had heard. Oh, that's right. To get to Yuan Shang, I have to go inside the base. Because there's an alternate path from the other side. I forgot about that. Alright, so we'll go in here and defeat Yuan Shang, and we'll take it from there. It should not be a challenge at all. So, yeah. There's also a gate over here, so I should look into that. See, in this crowd, it doesn't take much effort to fill up your booster gauge. If you use at least five hits. Oh, please. Why'd you do this? I defeated an officer. Huh. You don't have to use all your fifth charge attacks if you just kill him on the first pop-up. <laughs> don't lag behind. I'm sure that we be made into a Where's the gate captain? I suppose he's over here. There he is. Well, okay. I guess we're not even gonna try. Kind of wish I had a little extra attack power, but what are you gonna do, right? Okay, it doesn't look that bad for us, even though I think we did lose a bodyguard. I wonder what they have to be doing to be this bad at surviving. 
so we haven't found the supply depot yet. We'll have another chance real soon. Looks like I'm gonna go straight up to do it. Alright. Wow. Can't believe I struggled just finding my way through. Alright, so far so good. Haven't run into much trouble. I mean, really the only playable character we can go against is, uh, Yuan Shao. There's also Zhang He, but I don't think we need to worry about fighting him. And if we do, he's not going to be that strong either. So here's Liu Wei Guang. Or at least his horse. And he'll probably be near you the entrance way. Looks like they were able to breach the castle, but 
there's hardly any troops around that area. Have you noticed that? Okay, this must be Wu Xiao right here. By process of elimination, it has to be it. Here's Chu Shou, we'll defeat him next. Okay, he's just a subordinate. That attack just ticks me off. And I don't know why it's so weird for Sound South's timing. Okay, hopefully I don't look like an idiot, and this actually is the Supply Depot. So, we're gonna try it. Moment of truth. Did I have the right idea? One shot. I found it. Attack the supply compound. Yes! That mouth flap was not even close! He stopped Ultimate talking the before depot. the second screen. And on the second screen, he was still flapping his mouth. This is so bad! Oh my god! The things you just exposed from this game, it's not even fit. But anyway, Chun Yu Chiang is down. Wu Chiang compound is under attack! What? Oh, it can't be. One Shao, this battle is mocked. <laughs> Don't lag behind. Alright, so there, we did it. Hey, where did I leave my horse? Great! Now we will counterattack! Oh. Okay, good. My horse is still alive. Stop the enemy's surge! I thought when I burned down Wu Chao, I actually cooked the horse. Alright, so, uh, Wen Cho is still alive. I should probably go deal with him next. Okay, so, luckily there's still a bridge over there. Because I really don't want to go around the long way. Okay, we got a lot of morale now compared to the enemies. We can pretty much just seal their fate. For some reason, Shu Wong's morale still continues to drop. It's like, oh, we're winning? I, I don't feel good about that. Shu Wong just seems like the kind of guy that gets pissed when he wins because he wanted to keep fighting a little bit longer. He's like, no, I don't want to win, like, 3 nothing. I want to, like, quintuple overtime first. Like, seriously. Well, he doesn't seem like that guy now because, well, he's dead. Blended. I'm pretty sure 100% of people in this game are now dead. Except for the voice actors. Then again, I mean, there might be some voice actors that were involved in Dynasty Warriors 3 that are no longer with us. I never bought it. Check them all, though, because that was not a thing I was just interested in. That's going to be your homework assignment, everybody, that's watching this video or even cares. Look up all the, back, the voice actors that were involved in Dynasty Warriors 3. And then you just come to me and find which ones have died. And then you gotta do a 50 word essay as to like what other contributions they have done to the voice acting industry. So there you go. You get no grades whatsoever, but at least you don't have to worry about failing either. Also, where the hell did my horse go? Did I lose my horse amidst all this? Oh, no, no, but never mind, it's right here. Oh my god, the lighting in my room is, or the living room, is not good for this type of level. For what you see is pretty much like the ground in the sky. I just see blackness. 
it's seriously like that part of World Age of Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3, where you got the overworld, but you can only see like a little halo around you. It felt like that. Okay, so Zhang He and Yuan Tan is still alive. Uh, correction, Zhang He and Yuan Tan are still alive, manga. <laughs> I had to preemptively say that because, you know, I'm developing a reputation as a bit of a grammar Nazi. In fact, it's gotten to the point that grammar Nazis are more hated than actual Nazis. That is my lifelong goal. Alright, so, who's fighting around here? Are there any officers? None from what I can tell. And there are a lot of gates that need to be sealed. Oh, there is Yuan Tan. We'll defeat him next. It would be the ultimate irony if Yuan Tan was actually a very pale person. Think about it. <laughs> Here's your other homework assignment. Decide if I actually use the right form for irony. Pitiful cool. You will die. And probably just assume no. If you took a guess and said no, you'd probably be right. I mean, look, Canadians are not really known for their irony, even after that Atlantis Morissette song. Not get so easily. It's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get a lot of work done with 10,000 spoons. That's a lot of spoons. You'd probably just never need to do the dishes ever again if you're only using spoons. There is no glory to be won from this battle. Alright, is there a gate near me? No. You know what, I'm just gonna go and seal some gates, and then I'll deal with you on Shao and end the stage. He thinks that would be a good idea. Every little bit of defense will go a long way, because God only knows I will have to grind for it later. I mean, it is going to be a long time before I go for the uh, fourth weapon runs, but one day, you know, it'll happen. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a lot of troops around that corner. I don't know why they're all just boxed together. It's not very comfortable. This kingdom is mine. Kneel before me. At that time his his mouth flap stopped and he was still talking. So you can't seem to win with the mouth flap in this game. English voice acting whatsoever. It makes me like want to turn on Japanese voice acting to see if the mouse mouth mouse flap mouth flap is perfect, and I would not be surprised if it was. Okay, I'll, I'll get something on the go with this uh, battle axe that's active. I was a bit distracted by the frame skippage, that I was just missing everybody. Come on. It's the troops that were pretty much screwing me over. And he just got 100 health back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully it's all sorted because it took me like several tries to get it sorted and it never did. Like it would last for a few seconds and then it goes back to where it started. So you'll probably miss a few seconds of this fight. Luckily they were not very important. Because well, Yuan Shao is still alive. Okay, I was just keeping an eye on things because I thought it was just gonna get worse again. Like literally seconds later. But I think we should have this battle to a close. 
I swear, this episode is cursed. Because it didn't happen until we fought Yuan Shao. And believe it or not, even on this screen, I was experiencing like hundreds of frames being dropped, even though there's only like one still screen. It is beyond ridiculous. In fact, I think it is still happening, and you know what? Fuck it. 